Department of Agriculture is tracking this summer's migration of Mormon crickets. Yeah. Kristen's favorite. How many pests are coming and where are they going? Well, John Potter takes us on a cricket hunt. <laughs> Actually, these are relatively small females. But. Entomologist Jeff Knight says the crickets are back and munching away. More in Nevada now than last year. Last year we just had a couple of reports around Winnemucca. So we've seen a definite increase in the numbers. Every once in a while, the Mormon cricket population explodes in a cicada-like swarm. This picture of a house covered in cold springs was taken in 2001. Take a look at this, Mr. and Mrs. This male-female couple caught during our last high point, the Mormon invasion of 2005, when Highway 50 east of Cold Springs was slick as ice from all the crickets moving along the road. We had a number of accidents that were, if you will, cricket-related. 2006 was the last big year of northern Nevada cricketry. This was the scene that year in Elko County. And this is what Highway 50 east of Austin looked like in 06. This year, the cricket swarm is centered around southern Idaho. Right now, they've been showing up north of Reno in places like Winnemucca. On today's cricket survey, the green shows where they've been spotted. Moderate swarms represented by the yellow dots and the red dots showing where the dense swarms are. And so far the population has been relatively small on small areas. Jeff doesn't expect a plague this year like we've seen in the past. And now that we're getting into August, the clock is running out for the hungry hoppers. By the time you get to the 4th of July to the middle of July, they're pretty much where they're going to be. But he expects more of the ravenous creatures here in 2018. This year, more females have been laying eggs. The populations, I think we, what we'll see next year will be substantially up from this year. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News.